services that ship to Australia from overseas without the shipping being ridiculously high um, and there's not too many subscription services that are actually based in Australia um, so this is like a bell box is like the only one so I figured I would do a video this box is actually really interesting it's the first one of these different type boxes I've ever had so the top is blue like it's like navy blue um, the plane, the bottom is dark blue, it's kind of cool. Um, the lid didn't go on properly right from the start, and the reason the lid didn't go on properly right from the start is because there's this in here. These are Emily Fruit Crisps Crunchy Fig Banana. They are literally dried banana and with some palm oil on them. I don't know why they say fig. Because according to this it has two ingredients. Banana and sustainable palm oil. Where's the fig coming from? That's weird. <laughs> but um turning into a tasting video as well. Ah. They're definitely bananas. They taste like bananas. Sorry if they smell like bananas. Taste like bananas. They're just bananas. That's weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> apparently, the um, Theme is a global glamour. Um, apparently, there was red apple, fig banana, or pineapple. Why can't I have got the crunch pineapple? Apparently, they're available at Coles. I might have to go look for them. Hmm. Vegan friendly. Alright, let's get into the things that are in the box. As always, there is a uh, ingredients list to help you. There is a sample of Avene Cyclophate. Um, I don't know how much glare you are getting because I can't see the screen properly. Um, this is a restorative skin cream. Um, they show pictures of baby's butts, so apparently it's good for nappy rash. Um, that is the bonus, you know, for back of the bonus thing you want to. Then we have from, then we had, and then we have from more, we have a perfume sample. We don't usually get perfume samples, quite honestly. It's one of those stupid droppy ones. Um, more is a like usually just a skincare now the problem with this particular perfume this is in marshmallow if you watched my unboxing uh, my declutterings like my, my makeup collection um, I've even got it sitting this here oh, I still have it sitting next to me um, you might remember this lip balm from more it's in marshmallow and I said I didn't like it because it's really super duper sweet apart from it being in a tin. Um, yeah. No. no. Uh, I, 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 
not my favourite. <laughs> that apparently, you either could get Rosa Noir or Marshmallow. Neither one of those is particularly my kind of scent. Um, this is a 5ml sample. 100ml is $69.95. No thank you. Not in a million years. <laughs> then we got from uh, Glamouflage the Sam Smolder Facial Mask. This has Australian Cactus and Centella Essence to instantly refresh, moisturise and leave a soft, smooth texture. Okay. Interesting. I actually remembered to do a mask the other day. Uh, Glamouflage is an Australian brand. I'm gathering by the fact that it says it's made in Victoria. <laughs> It feels really mushy, so it might be a good one. Um, and that, they, you either got that or you could have got the cleansing foam or the facial oil. Personally, I would have preferred the cleansing foam, just because I like that kind of stuff. However, uh, the <coughs> face mask for a six pack are $25, about that. So. Um, and then we have another thing which is like a face mask, only these are eye ones, which is kind of a little annoying that you're giving me two things that are kind of the same. Um, these are the IV Moisture Boost Hydrogel Patches, you know, the kind of ones you put underneath your eyes to give you some moisture underneath your eyes apparently. Um, yeah, relax and enjoy for 20 minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's just, you know, two pads inside that thing there. Um, they are five, <laughs> a set of five, so that's ten eye patches, five uses, $75. Not in a million years. No. Okay. Then from NYX, which okay, is the Professional Conceal Correct Contour Pack. Um, they either sent you light or medium. I'm really glad they sent me the light and not the medium. Uh, yeah, but these are um, cream and don't know if I'm going to use them. I'm not going to open it up or anything like that. But it, it's good to have in some ways. Um, yeah, I don't know what the texture's like and I don't really want to open it. Because it's a cream product, I wouldn't want to open it until I was ready to like use it. Um, apparently they're like 20 bucks. Remember, this is Australian prices. You probably wouldn't pay 20 bucks for a NYX product in America, ever. But here you will. <laughs> and lastly, from Manicadar, which I've had some stuff from them before. Uh, this is a blush and highlighter. This is apparently $29 worth. Um, it's got like three shades in it. And you can either like pick the shades out or just swirl it. It is super tiny, actually. I don't know how you would manage to just pick one colour out from this. It looks gorgeous, but swirling is really the only way. Because how the hell are you going to get that highlighter out without getting the other product as well? It's, it's like not going to happen. It's Because it's so tiny. I mean, I'm even having trouble just putting my finger in there and doing that. But, that's such a pretty color. So you couldn't even get my little finger without picking up the highlighter. So... Um, 
highlighter in the middle and the other colour. Or you can just be like a normal person, mess up the pattern in it, swirl it all together and get a really nice shimmery blush. So if you like shimmery blushes, it's like a really good. It's actually in Blossom, is the, the colour and I mean it's super duper pretty, like, don't get me wrong. But $29 for something this size is, oh this isn't, yeah, I've just realised, this is their sample. This is their mini size, travel size type one. Because um, this is only 3.2 grams and the full size is 9.5 grams. So this is almost a third of the proper size one. So I mean, it's okay, but there's really nothing, I mean, there's nothing bad, bad in the box. There's just nothing amazing in the box, basically. So it was alright. I mean, it's more than the money, like, value-wise, if you're looking at their, you know, <laughs> registered retail price. It's, it's valuable. Yeah, like, the value is there. It's just not stuff I'm super excited about, so... Yeah, so that is my Bella Box for July in the middle of August. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the little button down there. Click the bell to get notified. I think if you click it twice, it brings up a little box where you can decide whether you get all notifications or some notifications. I believe that's what happens. Um, leave me a thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.